A lot of the most fun and anticipated moments in World of Warcraft happen in what's called the end game. Things like raiding, trying out M+, getting that super juicy piece of gear is what we want, but getting a new character to max level might feel like it's a long and gruesome road. It doesn't necessarily have to be though, because I'm going to share some tips for leveling up that should save you some significant time along the way. First tip I want to get into is logging out in rested areas. Rested areas are usually cities or inns, and will be indicated by these flowing Zs above your character's portrait. Spending extended periods of times in these rested zones accumulates rested XP, even when you're offline, hence why we want to log out here. Rested XP turns your XP bar blue, and gives you double XP for the things that you kill, like mobs in a dungeon, or while you're on a quest. So if you can remember to log out in these rested areas, you can save yourself some serious time over the course of those 70 levels. The next tip I should go into is heirlooms. If you have a good amount of gold to spend, I would consider getting heirlooms or upgrading them. They're around 500 gold apiece but you can upgrade them with more gold in increments at a time if you want. Basically heirlooms level with you so you never have to replace gear and avoid that awkward situation where you have like level 13 pants on a level 43 for a while. But they also have a super nice set bonus that comes with them and it consumes up to 30% less of that succulent rested XP that we mentioned earlier. This just means that you'll have more uptime on the rested XP. I should also mention that there's a guild heirloom vendor and a PvP one as well if you're really trying to get fancy or if you're really wanting specific stats or effects. Once you buy the heirloom they are account bound so all your characters can access them. All you have to do is hit shift P in the game and then click on the heirloom tab and then here you have a list and can sort by class or spec and then it shows the level that they cap out at. To make one all you have to do is click on it and it'll craft it into your bag. You can make as many as you want completely free. There's no limit or mats required so don't worry about wasting or messing one up ever. This tip is for the dungeon spammers. One of the best timelines to spam dungeons for is the burning crusade timeline. Not only are the dungeons pretty short and linear in comparison to more modern dungeons, they're also just less engaging and they require less mechanics, interrupt CC puzzles, which just leads to more time blowing things up and running to the end. On top of this, for more populated realms, there's actually a significant XP off Twink community. How does this help? Well, these Burning Crusade timeline dungeons also have some of the best Twink gear with all the sockets they offer on pieces that usually don't get sockets. These gear pieces in combination with some strong scaling you get at level 10 allow some Twinks to easily burn through these dungeons within a couple of minutes, letting you get that dungeon completion experience bonus at the end very, very quickly. And my last tip for you guys today is to quest. Now you might be thinking, but didn't you just say spam Burning Crusade Dungeons was really good? And you're right, yes, they are. But they also require queuing, and that means XP downtime. So if we want to hit max level faster, then we need to minimize that XP downtime. And that means questing while we're in queue. And you might even cleverly follow up with a second question like, well, if I already chose the Burning Crusade Chromie timeline, don't I only get to do the Burning Crusade quests? And the answer to that is no. A lot of the places simply have a minimum level requirement before the scaling kicks in. So most of the map on Azeroth, as you can see here, is doable right away or within the first few levels. You could also do some interestingly sneaky things, like you can select the Pandaria Chromie timeline, and then you can quest until you unlock the portal that links Jade 4 to Orgrimmar and then return to your Burning Crusade timeline and then use that portal to go back and continue your quest line. You can also do a similar effect with the Wad timeline and the Garrison Hearthstone as well as the Legion timeline and the Dalaran Hearthstone as well. I actually have one more tip for you guys before you go. This one probably won't be as effective kind of why I just tacked it here on the end but it's still nice to keep in mind. And that's to just look at the calendar and news every once in a while. Blizzard often has events where people get increased XP buffs or in-game holidays where you can earn an in-game XP buff and there's a bunch of these that happen over the course of the whole year so it's just nice to be aware if you're planning a leveling session and you can kind of maximize the benefits and spend less time in the leveling dungeons and more time getting declined from raids that's all from me for this time this is my first longer type video so if you liked it or learned something new give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more content like this you know subscribe if you absolutely hated it also let me know feedback's the best way to let me know if i'm doing things right or wrong appreciate you all and until next time see ya